we will try to create a Twitter clone in just about 15 to 20 minutes with both Bold.new and Cloud AI. So this is actually a, a bit of a spoiler alert. This is what Cloud AI got us. Uh, some of, a lot of these functionalities actually uh, work. But I'm going to show you live coding. I just want to show you what we got. So this is the profile page. This was all done in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes maximum. And I'm going to try to do the same thing with Bolt and analyze results. We're going to start with Bolt.new first. So let's start. Uh, I'm just going to click here Next.js applications to initialize empty application. I found that this is better than telling it to create Next.js applications. So we're going to wait here for this to install. So I said create x.com clone after our application started. Now I want to see what this enhanced prompt is. So I clicked it and let's see what it does. Feed, tweet, composition. Oh, this is actually very nice. So let me uh, send it. Now it's interesting. They are letting us use so much AI and this AI is so good. So I'm guessing there is a big company with a lot of money behind it. Hmm. Component sidebar tweet. Okay, so all of these things are missing but we are still creating stuff so yeah it's creating stuff still if i look at the code we see that it's coding feed now so let me uh, pause okay this is crazy this is working so fast i'm wondering if they are sending the whole application into the uh, the whole like code base into the ai it said here what it did Ah, 47k daily tokens remaining. So I'm going to wait for a few moments for this to display, I guess. So it didn't want to load for some reason. I refreshed the page and it got me back to the square one. So let me just say uh, create x.com clone. Uh, let's say create a simple. Create a simple because the more I say like the more... Uh, possibility for bugs and errors there are so let me just go step by step and I'm gonna try to fix any errors that happen so this is what we got uh, I had to fix some bugs here but this is what we got now tweets are not working if I click here I find clicking so I'm guessing this is not working so uh, make it able to post to tweets to add them uh, I guess also make liking functionality and commenting work. Okay, this is the new thing that we got. So if I go here, I tweet, it works. If I like, it also works. I can dislike as well or unlike as well. And if I comment, oh, that's crazy. This also works. That is actually so good. I didn't expect everything to work the first try. So, you've used all of your remaining tokens for the day. Uh, I need to pay $20 to have uh, more tokens. Mm, let's see what Claude AI can do now. Now, keep in mind that I maybe could have done a bit more because I also already used a little bit of tokens before this uh, today. So, let's see Claude. So for Cloud, I'm going to set up a local Next.js uh, environment. So let me make a folder uh, XCOM clone. I'm going to go inside of that folder. I'm going to start CMD and I'm going to say npx uh, create next app at latest. Now you're going to have to install Node.js if you don't have it for this. So just Google and uh, Next.js quick start. I'm just going to press yes, <clears throat> install this, then I'm going to, well, I should have added dot here, but now I'm just going to make this uh, a new folder, new inside of this folder. I wanted to install it in this folder, but anyways, I'm going to set everything to default and install it. So I said, <clears throat> create a simple social media app, simple because the more it goes, the more errors there can be. And then we're going to gradually improve. In Next.js, TypeScript, Tailwind, CSS. Take inspiration from this screenshot and think step by step before coding it. Put everything into a single file. 
because I want it to be easy to copy paste back to my code and then back to AI everything at once. So that's why we want everything in a single file as long as it's manageable. <clears throat> so when the file becomes too big, then we want to separate it a little bit. And then I just screenshotted uh, this like x.com, whatever. And then if I, I'm going to copy this because well, there I may, might not work. So let's see if it works. Now, while this is coding, let's go CD to my app and then uh, code dot to open it in my in code editor. So this is what we got. It's actually quite nice for the first try. Now I want it uh, to make it a bit prettier. I want everything to I want it to bring everything towards the middle a little bit. And there is a big margin. There are big margins around. And I want to make post functionality work and liking functionality to work. So I told it that exact thing. Liking functionality, uh, bring everything to the middle and posting functionality. So let's see. And I also told it to think step by step first. So it then outlines these uh, tasks. It added 60 lines of code. And this actually looks a lot better right now. So if I go here, I can like, unlike. Okay, if I go here and say whatever post, it adds this new post. So this is actually uh, very nice. So Cloud AI actually did this in two tries. And both new, was it one, two, three? Uh, it, it was, I think, two or three. And now I have a lot more. Like I have four more free messages on Cloud AI. So that's good. Make everything prettier with Shad CN components and tail in CSS, uh, make replying functionality work, uh, use uh, Lucid React icons instead of these, and also create a profile page. Think step by step, then uh, generate fully working code, go. Let's go. So we need to go to Shadzian installation here. We need to install this. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, command. This is initialization, so npm. And I guess I need to go to my here in the uh, my app and start a new terminal and paste it. So let's install this uh, neutral. I'm just gonna take everything default. Now, uh, Cloud AI. I already pasted the new code. It added 150 lines of code. Now there is almost 300 lines of code. And now, uh, if we go here, we need we see that we need button, input, card, avatar, and text area. <clears throat> so those are all the components, shots here and components. Let's go here. Uh, I'm just going to click here, copy this button, copy npm. But we also need input, uh, avatar, text area. And which one was it? Card. So I'm going to copy all of this, go to my terminal, and Place, uh, paste all of them and now they're all gonna be added now also whenever you are using this use state or other hooks you need to go here on the top and say use client because this will be uh, a client component because you, you can only use these hooks in the client component now we have some error but I don't want to waste my uh, cloud like runs so let me go to chat GPT and it can probably fix this error so I'm gonna paste my whole code then I'm going to paste this error. And I'm going to tell it, just tell me uh, where to fix it. So I wasn't able to fix it with ChatGPT. So let's go back to Claude. And I'm going to say, um, this is the error. Maybe you are not uh, using my app anywhere and you are not. Oh my God. Okay. And you are not passing component and page props, uh, props anywhere. Think step by step how to solve this error. Let's see if it can do it. Okay. It fixed it and it actually looks very pretty right now. If I add post, it works. It will. This is crazy good looking. Stats, share. Share doesn't work. Stats, repost, reply. Okay. Now this works as well. That's crazy, but can I 
do multiple replies. Okay, maybe I need to click here. Okay, now I can. I just cannot reply to this one now. That's okay. So that's crazy good actually. And this is the profile page that they created. So it, uh, these two parts look the same, but middle part, it says your posts. So if I go, the posting doesn't work yet. This post button doesn't work. But this post button works, so let me now tell it to think step by step how to improve this further. So let's see if I tell it to do it everything itself without me explicitly saying what to do. Think step by step how to improve this further, what other features to add to this social media, then generate fully working code. And I gave it, I started a new chat because I changed the code a little bit. There are a few simple bugs. But I don't want to uh, fix them every time. So I wanted to start generating the, this correct code and to start using this correct code. So it looks like uh, Claude's response hit the maximum length at this time. So I'm just going to say continue. Now it wants us to add this switch from ShadCN. So where can I do that? Here, here, like that. And I think it added around 100 lines, so 150 lines of new code. Now it added dark mode, which is actually crazy. Search functionality. Let me turn on dark mode, actually. It's better. So bolt.new. Okay, does it do anything? Can I say this? No, I think it doesn't work for some reason. Let me click this image. Okay, it lets me upload the images. So let me upload this image. Oh, that's crazy. If I can post it. Okay, I cannot post it, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so I can click these hashtags. I can click share, stats, like. It looks, everything looks better. Reply also looks better. Everything looks better. And we have these like nice icons as well. Let me see if it fixed this one. It did not. I cannot like reply either. If I click this uh, hashtag, does it do anything? It does. It puts me, it goes uh, to that hashtag. Okay, that's nice. It does not persist uh, this mode, but I think that's it. If I go click bookmarks, it's just going to push me to this websites, but they are not implemented. Profile is the same. I did not change it. Sign in. Hmm. Just changes to sign out. Okay, that's okay. So I think this is actually a lot better now. Now I told it create messages inbox page. I'm using app router because it, I it thought I was using uh, the other pages page router. How what is it called even? So think step by step and generate fully fully working code. So this is the code that it generated for the uh, messages inbox page. It had some 170 almost lines of code, but we're gonna need. Uh, shad cn uh, scroll area as it wants it here and so this is going to be at slash messages so app slash so let's go to our website and go to uh, slash messages and this actually looks nice so i can change between them as well and we have this layout to the side so this is uh, uh, this is the standard layout from the other page. This is not coded separately. This is just that same layout. And this actually looks very good. Can I send a message? I don't think so. That's okay. So the conclusion here is we can just keep using Cloud AI. It's very good. Like it just works here. Bolt. Um, I hit a roadblock because it's not showing like the things. Let, let's see here. Yeah. Well, the first roadblock is there is no more tokens. So $20 per month, uh, same with uh, Claude, but Claude gives more of usage. Generally you get, you can do more. And, um, I mean, in my case here, Claude is winner, but maybe I am just more skilled with Claude as well. So I have a lot more experience. Um, and from now on, I would just go and continue coding all of this stuff. So I would just say like, do more things here, do more things here. I would refactor, uh, refactor this code. So it's not like all in, in a single 300 line, 360 uh, line file. So for now, Claude is better. 
If you go to my channel, you can uh, scroll all the way down to this playlist, Web Development, or you can just click the link below and check my other web development videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.